All right, so let's wrap this up. Ultimately, the concept that I'm trying to frame for you guys right now is the idea of the statistic as an argument. Right, statistics is an approach to taking questions that don't have clear-cut right or wrong answers we're trying to take data in one example and draw conclusions about a broader sample. We're taking data in one slice of time and trying to draw conclusions about other slices of time. We're doing something predictive. We're doing something through inference. There isn't a clear answer. And statistics is one tool that allows us to make an argument for what we think is going on. But there are other things that we have to consider as well. And if we don't pay attention to how we apply the statistics, who we apply to, how we collect our data, we can draw obviously wrong conclusions. Many of you may be familiar with math and math classes as having clear cut answers. One plus one equals two. Statistics is more about approximation and prediction. For example, apparently it was all the rage at one point in time to stack Oreos on sleeping baby's heads and you get a higher and higher stack. And every time you try to stack another Oreo, the risk is increased that the whole stack would collapse, the child would wake up, right? Statistics can actually help us answer the question about how many Oreos can we stack on children's heads? Or if we have a certain stack of Oreos, it should, would we likely be able to add more? Or is it about ready to collapse, right? But there are broader things we have to consider. We have to consider the child themselves, the Oreos, the whole myriad of questions that come up, and the statistical analysis is one part of it, right? The danger comes when we focus too much on the recipe and not on the concept. Right? When we just try to take our data and shove it through that magic black box, right? and whatever the answer comes out, we're like, that's the answer. That's where people get in trouble. And that's why this class is focused on trying to understand the concepts as much as the procedure. Right? So try to think in terms of concepts and not just recipes. All right, that's going to wrap up this week's uh, videos. Uh, we will be jumping into uh, data and uh, presenting data uh, and understanding data uh, next week. Uh, make sure you are posting in the discussion form for this week. Uh, there isn't an assigned homework for this week, right? So just I want you to think about some of the concepts I brought up. Um, see if you can identify uh, examples of where statistical analysis is taking place in the world around you, commercials, the news, uh, in your conversations with people. And we will pick up next week with data display. All right, guys. Well, if you have any questions, please let me know. Any issues that rise up, and I will see you, well, or talk to you next week.